pleased to finally get, get some grass under your feet? Yeah, finally. We had a lot of meetings uh, the last month. Uh, a lot of new people. Uh, it's good to have meetings. But uh, it's best to get the ball out and uh, the shoes, uh, the, the football shoes on and to play some football. So um, I liked it very much. The weather uh, in England over the past <laughs> two or three days has been exceptionally warm, probably, probably unused to. Does that affect the way that you plan pre-season? Do you worry about the heat? Um, a little bit, for also for next uh, week on training camp, Portugal, the uh, forecast is uh, 35, so uh, we have to watch that, uh, we have two sessions uh, sometimes, so uh, we, we watch that if it's possible, maybe you start early on in the morning and maybe a little bit late in the afternoon, so uh, yeah, you will see. Uh, are you the sort of coach that gets your players with a ball at your feet straight away, or is the first pre-season just running up and down? No, straight away with the ball. Yeah, we, we play football, so I want uh, a lot of do uh, with, with the ball, and they get the condition uh, straight away. Uh, they get, uh, like the football. Yeah? They play football, and the running, I think, is a little bit uh, old-fashioned. I like uh, a lot of with the ball, and it will be, uh, finally, will be condition will be okay. What's your first impression of sort of the, the technique of the players you saw? I mean, I know you only saw for an hour or so. What was your first impression? Yeah, it was difficult. That was the first time after five weeks. Uh, and the, the energy and the spirit was very good. And uh, a new head coach, so they want to show themselves. It was a little bit uh, hasty sometimes, but I think the basic qualities are uh, very good. What's the, what's the plan for the, for the next week? I mean, obviously you go to Portugal on Monday, will they be training over the weekend as well? We train uh, the, uh, morning, uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday is free day, then we go Monday in the morning, train over here, and then we travel uh, in the afternoon. And then we train Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday is the day off, do some team building stuff like that, it's always good. Uh, over a little bit break, it's 10 days uh, training camp, so it's a, lo a long way. And then uh, Sunday, Monday training, Tuesday we have a game against uh, Forense, Wednesday train and Thursday we go back. That's the plan. In terms of, in terms of the game that's coming up, that's the first pre-season game, so it's, there won't be, you won't have been with the players that long, but how important is it to see them in, in a match scenario? Yeah, it's always completely different uh, uh, in training or, or a game. Uh, the game is, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the most important always. The training is good, but you have to show the yourself in the, in the game. Uh, and, and that's always good for the coach to see uh, which position, uh, how they play on the position. And then you can, can make your training, your tactical, your organization. Uh, so uh, the game is always mo most important, also the, the friendly games now, because yeah, we're a little bit new team, new stuff, so we had to get used uh, on each other, so it's good to play uh, some, some games. Uh, you said when we spoke earlier that um, <coughs> your, your, fav your favourite formation, if you like, is 4-3-3. Is I know you won't stick yourself to that, mm -hmm. allow yourself some mm -hmm. flexibility, but will you be training over the coming weeks to try and train players into that formation or will you just be training players and then and then see what happens? No, both no. I want to play 4-3, that's why uh, we pick out uh, players, so uh, that's the way we play. Uh, always can be a little bit uh, different, but uh, that's the basic way we want to play, so, so for everybody uh, uh, knows what, how, how we want to play and then you, you make your, your, your tactics and your training uh, for that system. Since we last spoke, there's been some arrivals on the on the playing front. Uh, two defenders, uh, Johan uh, Barbe and uh, Yeland, yeah, and uh, a midfield player, um, Kirschbaumer. What was your what were your thoughts about those signings? Yeah, for me, it's Bjelland, uh, I know him, from, of course, from the Netherlands. It, it was not my idea, it was an uh, idea from the club to, to bring him over, but uh, I like that idea, because he was a good player. I think it's a very big signing for the club, uh, to uh, give a uh, Danish international to Brentford. I think that's good. That's, that's, that's the way uh, Brentford now is going. It's a good signal to uh, our players, but also to the, the crowd. So, uh, I like the signing. Uh, John Barbet is also, uh, I've seen him on the, on the laptop, uh, good left defender. And uh, Kesbaum is a really big box to box player. So, uh, yes, yeah, good signings, I think. And those, are, just to clarify, those are players who you believe can fit into that 4 3 3 that you want to play? Yes. Uh, uh, now, yes. Uh, Bjelland is, uh, used to be uh, played uh, in a good organization, so I like that. That will be help, helpful for me, I think. Uh, Kesbaum can one of the midfielders. Uh, I like to play with one holding midfielder and one box-to-box uh, -box player and also a number 10. So I think he can play on, on one of the midfielders to, uh, to, go, uh, to go in the deeps. Uh, the next sort of 
the next week or so when you've got the players um, almost to yourself, if you like, there's no there's no distractions. How important will that be in terms of in terms of the season to come? Yeah, very important because it's new stuff, uh, new players, uh, new team. Uh, also, so yeah, you get used to each other, but yeah, you have to uh, your ideas uh, uh, bring over to, to the players and. Uh, uh, I have to uh, know my players, so it's good to uh, go on training camp. They have also some social talk, and uh, you get them know a little bit better. And you get uh, one to one, and you get a lot of trainings. So that's good. It's very important. Uh, Ten days to, to go to Portugal. I like that very much. You've been Brentford manager for, for just over a month now. Brentford head coach for just over a month. You, you're sort of used to it now. Is it like you, you're, you're throwing yourself into the job? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's big job. Uh, but uh, so far, I like it very much. Uh, very friendly people, very professional. Uh, a lot of uh, facilities, uh, new signings, so uh, big opportunities. So uh, uh, I enjoy uh, every day uh, until now. Um, you've also got some new staff who've come on board. You've got some, some specialists. The club made it clear that they'll be bringing in those sort of people. How have your initial um, conversations gone with them? Because you, as the head coach, you have you have to work with them and make sure that they fit into. To the, to the whole scheme, don't you? Yes, uh, but it was a, 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 a good part of the solicitation uh, for the conversation. Yeah, we had a lot about uh, this policy, so uh, uh, I think it's a very good policy. So uh, we bring uh, up the, the specialist. Uh, today we had uh, Bartek uh, make a presentation for the players. So it, I, I think it's very good to have some specialism in the team. You have to work out a good schedule and manage that, of course. But I think. Uh, yeah, we, we can be do better with, with that kind of knowledge uh, in the teams, it's good. Uh, finally, um, the fixture list came out two weeks or so ago. How, as, a, as a head coach, how much do you do you study that to see where you're playing, when, or, or is it of the opinion that you play 46 games, you play every team twice and it doesn't really matter? Yeah, for me it's not. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we, we play the first uh, at home. It's good, I think, at the uh, So I, I booked some tickets for my brother and my, my father to come over the first game. That's, that's good, that's, I, I like that. Um, it's, uh, I watched the, the, the boxing day and I like that we, uh, we play at home. It's good for the family to come over and watch a game and a little bit celebration of uh, Christmas, but also playing. And the other games just yes, came um, fast and it uh, doesn't matter for me. For me, it's all, every game exciting and uh, everything is new. So, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's good.